What's going on, everybody? It's Treeb from Treeb Talks here with Crewcast episode 25, almost to 50. We gotta think about something special to do for 50 because we didn't do anything special for 25, but trust, once we get up to that, you know, 50 podcast mark, you know, after we do a whole nother, I don't know, Barnes the Math Guy, 25 plus 25 is 50, right? Yeah. yeah, so another 25 podcasts. Not most of us are math people, but we do know that equation. I, I don't, I don't, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't want to sound stupid, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to, like, give up on the, I didn't want to give false information. But, you know, in 25 more episodes, hopefully we'll have something special for the 50th episode. And speaking of Barnhouse Production, he is in, and he is in kind of in relief of the crew douchebag who won't be in today. Barn, Ooh. how's it going, bro? Um... Doing I right. uh, bunch of family drama, but I was gonna say I, bet, I know for a fact you are not doing great. I haven't seen you in two weeks, and I know when Barton goes off map for two weeks, you're not good. Oh yeah, I'm doing just stress, work. I feel it. Family. Yeah. Yeah, you be getting through it though. Oh yeah. Yeah. That work grind not too bad on you. No. Nah, you yeah. haven't you haven't had any uh, about that one coworker you don't have much bitching about him to do recently. No, no, he's been all right. What? He still stink though. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's funny. I was telling Barnage today that one of my coworkers stinks like shit. One of my coworkers that where I work now, like part time, stinks all the time because he literally has this theory that he doesn't believe in deodorant. That's yeah. Horrible. Like he doesn't believe in it. I feel sorry for people. Like, like there's that. there's like something like he said in the chemicals that like makes you live not as long and it like tracks inside of your DNA when you put deodorant on. He says he puts deodorant on once a week because if you put it on every single day then it like takes years off your lifespan. Screw it. I was telling the guys earlier, I only want to live to like seventy. I don't want to be like hundred years old, dude. Screw that. He's yeah. so like Fragile uh-huh. and old, just old. not know what in the hell is going on. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather be me when I go out. I feel you. Okay, we'll get back to that conversation before I uh, do the rest of the intros. Colge, back in the building. This is Colge's, I think, fucking 25th. Colge and, you know, fits his 25th straight uh, crew cast. Damn near. What's going on, dude? Just, uh, just big chilling, you know, probably the best day of my life. You know, and no, uh, <coughs> no complaints here. You know, you, you're kind of a vital part of the crew cast because this would be a one-man show if you didn't, you know, do the transportation for most of the people to get here for the crew cast, including myself if we did, like, a special location crew cast. Yeah. So, so thank you for being kind of the bus driver in those situations. Toot toot. Toot toot. Yeet yeet. We got the uh, residential white boy in the building. Fitz, how you doing, bro? Oh, you know, I'm doing good. Yeah. Living the dream. Yeah, you know? you're you're trying you're trying to get closer and closer to Scooter by the day. I think by episode, oh, no, by episode twenty six, I think you're gonna be Scooter oh, with a goatee. I'm getting it there, dude. I'm getting it there, dude. It's not even it's not even the facial yeah, hair, bro. It's, it's the long hair, mm-hmm. dude. This is getting there too, dude. Sorry, look at Barnage's hair. I, I yeah, can't really. Like he, he has well, yeah, he's but he has his hat on. Take your hat off. Yeah, see, that's it's... not the longest I've ever seen it. No, no it's definitely not the no, longest. Yeah, yeah. used to have the fro. Yeah, I, see, I think that's why, because the bar set so high for Bob. I also yeah. want to say shout out to CC, happy birthday. Oh yeah, shout out to CC. I think this, game, this episode yeah, will go C-C. out a day later, but yeah, happy birthday to CC. Oh, and me. also a happy birthday to my little cousin Zeta. Hey, happy oh. birthday Zeta! Yeah, happy yeah. birthday Zeta! Yeah. I no. mean, this was off air, but you know, we did a roast challenge trying to get a. Colge to spit up, and we said he looked like uh, Tracy. Yeah, Tracy. <laughs> and it was that... good. It almost got me, but that was hilarious. So, yeah, happy birthday to everybody. But going back to what Barnes said about not really wanting to live till you're 100, so what's your what's your reasoning behind that? Because, like, I, I don't want to be, like, old and, like, like my body already hurts. Yeah, I'm, only, I, I'm only, I I'm only, I'm only 21. Labor. I'm already 21, but like I don't want to get to the point where like I have to rely on like a whole bunch of assistance from like equipment or just other people. Like, yeah. I like that. That seems like no fun to me. I know. Like yeah, you still have moments with family and stuff, but like ah no, like the body pain. 
and like just seeing it for myself with like my great grandparents and stuff recently. I know, dude, and that's you didn't even say that when you're not old. Like I mean, for me, relying on just transportation because I can't drive for my seizures. Like I hate doing that. You know what I mean? Like. I feel that. I probably, I do kind of want to live for a really long time. I know me and Coulter are kind of in the same boat with that. Um, if I live to 100, live to 100, I'd like to see a good 100. Mm-hmm. I mean, I know that's hard to do, but I'd like to see a good 100. Coulter, what's, what's your take on that? I'm going to live forever. So that's, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's always kind of. It doesn't matter. I'm going to live forever. Um, that's just the end of it, and I'm always going to be top notch. I wish you all boys nothing but good health. Fitz, what's your, uh... I don't know. I'd probably like to... I'd probably be with, like, Barnes. Yeah. Just, like, if, you know, if I'm not healthy to that age, why would I want to be kind of moping around? Like, if I was healthy, like, Like if I was decently healthy up to 100, then you could, like, still, like, somewhat walk around and be fine, yeah, that would be cool. But, like, if I'm... Yeah. Just sitting yeah. there, pooping my pants and stuff at seventy. I'm like, I, I, I'm, I'm done. I'm good. I can't wait till someone has to change my shitty diaper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make my kids do it. Oh. Oh. Probably your grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> at that point, I already, can't wait. Cause how, I old, how old's your youngest now? Like seven. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I haven't. It hasn't been that long. <laughs> I'm a virgin. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess going off of health issues, I guess just to update the audience, Trabe did have uh, another seizure episode. Wasn't the uh, wasn't the best. Colge and Barn weren't there, but, you know, Fitz was, uh, he heard it. It happened on the PlayStation, PlayStation. The yeah. PlayStation mic, and, uh, you know, when, when, I, when I have those happen, like, I don't remember anything. I don't like see anything. So you know, and Fitz, you know, you really went out of your way. What was like? What was the initial thoughts that you had when you heard that? Well, it's like two thirty in the morning. We're in a party, just me, you, and Jamie. I'm thinking, Cameron's not awake. I have no idea if Ashley's there, and this isn't normal. Like, yeah. it's not normal sounds that come from you. So it's like I just knew something was up. So I was like, I'm the closest one. So I don't give a fuck. I'm going. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm taking off. I don't care if I'm gonna be torched when I'm there. My lungs are done. I don't care. I'll get there. And so I, I was here at like two thirty in the two thirty five, beating on your front door. Just got here as quick as I could, like five minutes. Said, all right, I need to get the fuck in here. I don't care who I wake up in the apartment complex. I just needed to get inside. So. How long did it take for somebody to answer the door? Uh, well, you were trying to. Was that really? Yeah. I don't even remember. You were trying to, and the like. You said like the lights were off or whatever. You're like, I need to find the lights or whatever. And then like Cameron finally opened it for me, and you're just like there, and you kind of reacted like you would if I was here at two thirty in the morning. <laughs> like, why are you here? You know, like <laughs> it's two thirty in the morning. Like, what are you doing at my house? And I was like, well, because you just had a seizure. You're like, well, what? <laughs> you know? And obviously you're not there yet. So I had to tell you that a couple times. And you're like, like, when did you show up? You know, you asked me again. I'm like, like a couple minutes ago, okay? Like, you know. I know. I couldn't even imagine how annoying it'd be dealing with me with like that. Because like, that's, that that's what Ashley said. Ashley said like I asked like the same like four questions like a million times. Oh. And then like the adrenaline kicked in and just like. Like, I got the, I don't know if you ever had, like, a thing where you try so hard where you're running and you, mm-hmm. and your lungs get the taste of, like, blood. Yeah. Like, you can taste <laughs> Yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. and that's how it was when I got here. So, like, adrenaline was pumping, and when I got here, like, I, once Tree was fine and I knew Cameron was up and people was there. Once the adrenaline fine. came down a little well, bit. Well, yeah. But, like, I couldn't sit there. Like, I just mm-hmm. did not feel good. So I had to go. Like I just made sure Tree was good, and then I was like, I gotta get going, cause like Tree was sitting there, like, cause he fucked up his shoulder, and like, I was like, he was just in agony, and mm-hmm. I was like, the whole thing, I was just like, fuck, I gotta get out of here, cause I don't feel good. <laughs> so, well, that's what that's what Ashley said was like when she rolled up and she showed up. 
I was outside. Yeah, you were outside mm-hmm. sitting on the stoop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, you yeah, know. Yeah, I needed air. Dude, it was like, like, the seizure didn't really, well, I mean, the seizure's the reason why my shoulder was fucked up. The seizure didn't really fuck me up, but, like, mm-hmm. my shoulder hurt so bad, and then yeah. I, I went into the hospital, and my right shoulder, which didn't even hurt that bad, and it still doesn't really hurt too bad, my right shoulder was dislocated, and my left shoulder was separated. So, like, straight muscle from bone was completely separated on my yeah. shoulder. Like, mm-hmm. it was just... Uh, and, like, the thing was, was the whole plan was was that Cameron was going to take Ashley home, and then Ashley was going to come back. Or, Ashley was taking her grandma's car home, and Cameron was going to take her back so Ashley can spend the night, and if I had, had another freak out, like, she would be there. But, like, on their way back, I was, like, waiting in the house, and I was, like, just stretching my shoulder out, and it just hurt so bad like i was like i can't i can't do this i need to go to the hospital and and you know i i sent i sent a message out to the crew but i mean like when i say this is the best group of friends of all time like I don't, i'm not just dicking around saying that like i mean cameron sat in the waiting room of the saint joe's hospital from 4 a.m to 9 30 in the morning yeah it's crazy like he wasn't even in there with me he mm-hmm. was just making sure everything was good I was okay. Ashley did the same. Well, Ashley left when my mom left, but Cameron, I mean, when my mom got there, but Cameron stayed there the whole time. But I mean, like, she's just insane. You know, like, you have, like, a group of people that care that much, like, and, and you know, it's a good thing I was in the fucking orchards, mm-hmm. because, like, if that happened on 29th Street, like, people would have to be calling mm-hmm. Ashley, like, left and right to, like, fucking sprint down there and get there. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> or like I'd have to wake Cameron up or something or Barn would have had to Yeah, I would have been the closest one. <laughs> yeah, or Barn would have I would have been to... peeling out my mom's car and hitting Yeah, I would hitting, I could I could see that. Hitting gun club. Mm-hmm. Well see that's what I was thinking. I thought you drove at first. I was gonna, but like first reaction, you know, you you hear it and you're like I gotta go. So how long did you like take to decide like this is what I'm gonna do? Well, it was because I hit Cameron with a message, and I was like, "There's no way he's awake. He's a deep sleeper. He doesn't. He, I mean, he won't wake up for shit." Yeah. So I was like, "I'm the only one near. Yeah. I'm the only one awake. Like, Jameson's like he's not going to be able to do anything. I know Tree won't want an ambulance there because that's going to cost him a yeah. hell of money. Yeah. So I was like." I gotta step up. I gotta get there and gotta make sure he's all right. Well, did sure you told CC awake. or Jameson, didn't you? No, Jameson oh, and oh, I were still. In oh the yeah, party Jameson was in the party. Yeah. yeah, we were playing Superstar KO. We were about to. <laughs> <laughs> we were about to play Superstar KO. Dude, so like usually, like I don't remember exactly what I'm doing, like right before I had the seizure. But for some reason, this one I just remember verbatim. Like, I take a piss, I grab a beer. I put the beer on my counter, I crack it, and right when I crack it, I have it. Like, it's just, like, right there. And, I mean, I don't know. You know, things like that happen. It's been three months since my last one. I could could work on better, like, taking my pills more at, like, a scheduled 12 hours. Like, that's something I could do a better job of. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm just trying not to hurt myself, trying to get back on track. and Yeah. You know, we're doing that sure, slowly but surely. But, like I said, I'm glad to have, you know, a group of friends there. And uh, the so... The best in the world. Fucking Literal. facts, dude. Well, I mean, facts. so... So, uh, how did you guys find out in the morning? Cameron messaged the group yeah. chat like oh, we did. four messaged o'clock it. in the morning. Yeah, because like, I... The first thing and I woke up, up like, literally... Like, I always leave my volume all the way up and, like... I wake up to my first alarm clock, like, on other people in this group. Yeah. But, <laughs> I, uh, I think that shots at me and you. S- yeah. As soon as that message just goes, ding, I, like, I woke up and I was like, oh, no, because, like, my gra- my great-grandparents are in the best condition oh, right I'm now. I'm sorry if that scared you, bro. And, like, <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm getting a message. And, like, I look at it and it's like, Trevin had another seizure. And I was just like... And I was like, man, what is going on? Yeah. I was like, okay. I went back to bed. I woke up and I messaged the group chat again. I was like, any updates? Yeah, and it was just... Dude, the people, like... Shouts out to Idaho Medicaid, too, by the way. Because since I didn't have a job, I applied for it. Got it. Don't have to pay a dime for any of this. Hell yeah. So gang, shout out to Medicaid. Thank you, Medicaid. So gang gang on that. 
But, um, nah, for real, though, those doctors were rude. <laughs> like, not very nice people. Like, I was, like, you can still, like, I have, like, three marks on my hand. The lady tried fucking putting an IV in my hand, and she kept missing. And just kept stabbing my hand, and I'm like, dude. And they took, like, forever to do everything, and I'm like, it's 4 a.m. in the ER. Like, yeah. who else is here? Like, yeah. like seriously. Work on me. <laughs> like, like, come on, like... Let's get this thing figured out. And you know what else I realized? And I said this, like, right when Cameron signed it. I think literally almost every member of the crew has signed my consent form at a hospital. Oh, yeah. I, uh-huh. I think, because Cameron has, oh, Mike has. I've done it twice. Colch has twice. <laughs> yeah. I haven't. Yeah, Barn and Bryce are the only two that have it. Yeah. But, I mean, fucking, that's so funny. <laughs> like, like, just... This is the first one I haven't been to the hospital. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I felt something empty. It was probably you not being there. <laughs> I know, and it was because my mom, uh, Ashley and Cameron were both like, should we call your mom? I'm like... Just let her sleep. I was like, I was like, there's no reason for either one of them to be here at like four a.m. Yeah. Like, just just tell them when they get like at seven or something. Mm-hmm. And no, no the, the most awkward part of the hospital trip was like Ashley was there, and Ashley decided to not wear any modest clothing whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> she wore clubbing gear, dude. She wore <laughs> cheetah short shorts and showed up in my sweatshirt. Like I was like, girl, the fuck, <laughs> the fuck you wear it, right? So all the doctors looked at her like, like what the fuck, <laughs> right? And then fucking, so she shows up, and then the, the girl, the one of the doctors is like, oh, who's this? I was like, it's my girlfriend. She's like, oh, is this Bailey? And I was oh. like, God, I've been here so fucking much. <laughs> and, then, and I had to explain to it that it wasn't her, and that was probably the most awkward part yeah. of everything. I was like, no, this is Ashley. It's like, no. This is my old lady. Dude, that's, that's what, dude, it's funny because I was explaining that to her. And then, like, she's like, if Colton was there, he'd probably say that this is your old lady. <laughs> she thinks that's the funniest shit. I love saying that. I w- I'm going to have me an old lady one of these days. I mean, it's See? nice to have an old lady, dude. I mean, an old lady. Old lady. My old lady. lady. <laughs> All right, y'all keep talking. How's I'm beer? going for your mother's. I would have another. Yeah, Fitz? me too. All right, y'all keep talking. I mean, yeah. It's scary when Treve has seizures, but we know the drill at this point, and uh, it, it, I don't know. I feel like we probably all handled it better than that first time we were all there. When, oh, we're, yeah. at, uh, when we were at Orchards, yeah. that, that was, like, scary. Like When was the first, the first the one? The first one you had... Uh, when you were driving. Oh, yeah. To go pay rent. Yeah, because no. You just got bit. No, I was getting no, biscuits and gravy. Biscuits and gravy, yeah. yeah. No, biscuits yeah, and no. gravy. Yeah, no one, no one was there for that. But I guess the Orchards one was the first one when people were yeah. there for. Yeah. I'm a sketch. You know, and it's, it's funny, too, because, like. I mean, it's kind of thankful, too, though, that every time that you've had something come up, that we, you've been around. The group, yeah, most of the time. Yeah. The only time I have it is when I'm fucking driving. Yeah, yeah, gang. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but um, no, it's it's been a, and it's funny too because you know obviously, Ashley when she came in didn't really like Cameron too much. Yeah, and then I mean, after this whole scenario, she just said she found like a whole new respect. For Cameron and like who he is, and it's like Cameron's the go. We call him the crew douchebag, and like rightfully so. Like, <laughs> like I mean, like 100%. He, yeah. he he fits the description better than anybody. But like, if you need anybody in a crisis situation, yeah, like when shit goes down, he is there for you. He's yeah. the guy you want to have yeah. there. He manages like Christ. Is it crises or crisis? Crisis. Crisis. Like he manages like crisis like better than anybody. Oh yeah, that I've ever met. Like, oh, for sure. He's he's calm. Always he's collected. Calm. He knows what to do. Like mm-hmm. he just and he handles it. And yeah. he and he knows how to make light of the situation. Like when I was, I don't know if you were here when I was puking. No, no, dude. Uh. I, I puked like a lot. I puked <laughs> a lot. So <laughs> so like freaking the whole time I'm puking. I'm in there with Ashley and fucking Cameron, and Cameron's just farting the whole time. Yeah. Okay. And, then, and then he's just like, oh, that one slipped. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, uh, I'm trying to make you laugh and make light of it. And, I mean, and he cares, too. Like, I mean. Cares about don't, all of us. Don't ever let his front fool you. Like, that's a caring man. If he's True. a douchebag to you, that means he really cares about you. Most of the time, That's yeah. the truth. Yeah, I mean, that's the truth. Y- yeah, you find them. 
You know, you find you find a group of friends, man, and you mm-hmm. think it won't last outside of high school, but it's just it's weird. Find the right one, the last forever. Yeah, it's... we're all gonna be old and still and on, and on, <laughs> and on crew cast episode one thousand two hundred and fifty four. It's gonna be more than that because you think Joe Rogan's been doing it for ten years, yeah, and he's at like fifteen, sixteen hundred, mm-hmm. something like that. We're gonna have a million of them. I just want to have a. A podcast where we're sitting on a couch in the front yard of a house. Yes. That's the best fucking case. Well, nice we, sunlight out. We Good need to, we need to start putting this on camera. Yeah. Not just with the audio, but I mean... Because I, I mean, this is a pretty dope setup for a podcast right now. I mean, just the round table. Yeah, I like it. It's the round table. It's nice. Discussion. But I mean... And I mean, you can pull it out to the center too and have a couple more. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm Six... Six, six, person, six seater. Round, yeah, a round table conversation. Six seater. I mean, that's all we need, really. We only need six seats, like, in the grand scheme. Like, honestly. I mean, me, you, us four, Cam, Jamie. Jamie. Yeah. yeah. Arturo, Mike, and. Arturo, Arturo and Mike, Tyler. Are Arturo, kind of Mike. Of Mike. Our guest appearances. Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> you can get them on the phone. Yeah. You know? True. It's kind of funny because, like, we have a main six, but the main six, like, Kind of changes throughout every time. once in a while, oh, all yeah. the time, yeah. Because our oh, tour yeah. used to be in like the main, I mean, oh, yeah. us like four, yeah, right we're here, the main four. We've been yeah. here for a while, but like some of the people moved around and yeah. came yeah. back. Yeah. And Jameson, but, like our tour was there first, the and then Mike showed then, up, yeah, for then two he years. moved, and then Mike showed up, he was there, and now he's gonna buy a house in Court Now Wayne. he's gone. You never know what that bastard's up to. Yeah, so. really. He's going to buy a house in Illinois and sell it. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm moving to weeks. Weeks. <laughs> Or I'm moving to California. Well, he, he's always all over the place because he was. I was talking with him on the phone a couple week, few weeks ago before he said he was going to buy a house up there. And he was like, I'm moving to Lucen. There, I'm never going to get... Or it was after He applied for a millwright job there. And he didn't get it. And he's like, I'm not going to move up in this company. I'm just going to go back to Lucen and get another job. And then, yeah. you know, he's all over the place. I've heard a million things from him. Should buy a boat. Live on a boat, dude. Might as we well. We should all a just yacht. pitch in on a boat. Why the fuck? It would have to be a really big one, dude. Boats are. And waste who knows? Money. You guys not might, waste of money. But have you guys you ever been, been out on the sea? Huh? Have you ever been on the sea? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Are you guys, you guys might get seasick, <laughs> and then you're like, gonna be on a yacht on a boat. No, I'm just Can you saying, imagine no, trying no, to seize on the boat. I'm just oh saying, like, God. Yeah. I fall into the fucking water. Where, where's we'll Mike's, where's yeah. Mike's cabin on? Uh, maybe. We get, yeah. yeah, in Mayview. <laughs> Don't like, worry about it. dives in like a fucking yeah. swan. Dude, <laughs> I, I would. Yeah, I would. My 250 fun. pound ass. <laughs> With his shirt still on. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Jersey at all. I had to do that one. <laughs> That's fair. No, but yeah. No, buy like a boat and put it on the docks up in Bayview. Because there's people who do that. Yeah, so, I haven't been to Bayview. So, so in really Bayview, cool. they actually have have houses on the water, like yeah. mm-hmm. real ass houses on docks and shit. And that uh, lake, I think it's Lake Ponderé or like something like that. It's a deep pond. And it, it's lake. it's like over a thousand feet deep. They have a they have a, scary. They have a, yeah, they, have a they have a navy base there, and they build submarines. They do test submarines, one third the size of regular submarines, and test them in that bitch. Damn. Yeah. Like one third like smaller, like smaller. You, yeah, they do like one third, one third of the, the size. No, one third the size. Oh. Okay. So two thirds smaller than two th- the actual Oh, submarine. okay, okay. Just and to test them. Yeah. My dad hooked on to one one time, he said, before I was no born. Way, really. Because he had this old boat, not the boat that you guys have seen. It was the one that used to be way in the back at my dad's house. Yeah. White one. And there was like a fishing rod on the boat for big ass fish. And that hooked onto something and it was like pulling the boat, so he had to cut off the line, and he says it was a submarine. He tells everyone he caught a submarine, but That's such a case submarine caught him. What, yeah, he would have been case. sunk if he could. Yeah. What's, what's the next time Casey's in town? He's home now. I shaved his head today. Oh, fuck. We should have had him on the pod, dude. Yeah. How long is he in town? Oh, he's only going to be here for a week. He's going on a fucking... 
cruise? Cruise. Is he? I just guessed. He's going, he's going on a he's fucking does, cruise. He's going trips. on a trip That's on his favorite thing. rocket ship. Where's he cruising? The Disney cruise? The Cayman Islands. Oh, the what Cayman Islands. Dude, you remember Cayman? He was a weird fucker. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> don't really say Cayman. last name. Don't say yeah, last name. Yeah, but he was a weird fucker, dude. That's so the guy that wore the same shirt every day. Yeah, dude. He, he like, got in trouble for, like, sexual harassment in sixth grade. Doesn't surprise me. Because he would, like, surprised. sniff girls' hairs and shit. <laughs> hairs. Hairs. <laughs> hairs, yeah. <laughs> Multiple girls' not hairs. Just, not just one hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, I saw. So you know, Dylan. You know, Dylan that we went to high school with, the yeah. special ed kid. Yeah. yeah. I saw he he would always pick like loose hairs off people's shirts and stuff. True. It was weird like that. And I saw him in class one time, pull some girl's hair because he thought it was just a one single hair that was just on. <laughs> Pulled it out of her head, and she goes, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and Dylan's like, "Sorry." <laughs> Crack me up. That's it was so funny. <laughs> one time I was going to was that the history of rock and roll? Uh, it might have been because I, I feel remember. like me and you had. I don't remember what class it was. Yeah, but I, but I remember seeing because yeah. I've seen Dylan do it. To yeah, people. I'm sure he's done it. Oh yeah, of times. multiple. We were at Arby's one time, me and Trey, and we we're going through the drive-through and. Dylan fucking is like right at the side of the drive thru and he's like, Trey! Trey! No Trey somehow, probably in the same class. Probably. Trey! Trey, I need a ride. And Trey's like, No, Dylan. <laughs> Dylan's like, Come on, I'll give you gas money. And Trey just fucking floored it and drove, drove off no of me in there. And I was like, Trey, why'd you give him a ride? He's like, I don't want to deal with his bullshit. And I was Dude, like, I gave Dylan a ride one time. I see him like roaming the orchards. Oh yeah, I gave him a ride uh, after wrestling practice one day. I was shopping for some dinner, and I saw him at Winco, dude. And he's like, "Oh, let me get your phone number." And I was like, "Fuck!" Gave my phone number, and he's like, "Can you give me a ride to my house?" Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Yeah, sure. You know what? My good deed of the day." Yeah, I'm just. I gave him a ride. We kind of live near the same place up in the orchards, and I drop him off, and he goes, "I have to do some grocery shopping for my mom. Can you take me?" And I was like. Dylan, I have to go home and go to bed. <laughs> it's like, all right, I'll call you later. Dude, one calls of, me every once in a while. Dude, Kyle's one of the weirdest people to see in public. The you never, wrestler. Yeah, you yeah. never, you never get out of a conversation with him. No, I always you get see him. stuck. I don't. I've told you this story, but like, you know, Albertson's got those new self checkouts. Yeah. So I was buying shit for Valentine's Day for my mom's and fucking uh, my grandma and mm-hmm. Ashley or whatever. And Kyle and his mom were there. <laughs> and freaking, I'm at the self checkout. And this bitch gets her fucking cart. And puts it right there. And she's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm checking out like flowers and shit. And I'm like, hey. And she's like, I haven't seen him in a while. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, are you almost done? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, give me a minute. Like, it's just like, she's just like all up in my grill. And I'm like, was he on one of the mark cards? Huh? On the mark card? Yeah, dude. Dude, she's she's it's probably crazy. Bobby. No, it was Kyle's mom. Oh, Kyle's yeah, it was Kyle. Mom. Yeah, it was Kyle's she's mom. That's what, yeah. That was Bobby a, was a sweet lady. She is sweet. Bobby is sweet. But Most yeah. of the time. Jeez. She can't be crazy. She can be sometimes. sometimes I just think it's so crazy. funny how, like, out of everybody... Didn't Arturo work at Albertsons? Or yeah. Trip? Everyone in the did. crew did. Except, yeah. Yeah. except Mike. Mike and Layton. Yeah. And but Cameron. I mean, again, like, the main six yeah. at that time. Yeah. Probably. And I mean... <laughs> the crew, and, and then... J- or... or, or Fucking Mike also worked at Rosars. Rosars, yeah. And he was in the deli, too. Mm-hmm. We were doing the same shit. Dude, I just... I just think it's funny how uh, Janet, when I was there the last time, she's like, if I'm going to be honest, I thought Colton would last the least amount of time out of you boys. And I'm like, you guys have, you have a terrible judge of character. <laughs> I'm like, I thought Bryce was going to be there the longest. I can't but... believe I worked there twice. I can't believe you just put that there, bro. That's fair. There's a table right here. <laughs> Bryce said a lot of stuff Bryce back. said to his metal yeti cup on the ground where everyone's feet is and we're using a table right now. We're all Yeah, but <laughs> we all have our beer and phone and shit on. 
<laughs> and then I fucking put my foot on the thing and I accidentally kick it over and I'm like, Bryce, this is a rental. And there's a stain on the carpet. Rub your, get you rub already, your sock you guys, in there. You guys yeah. literally already have like, Rub your sock on it. Stains. Dude, yeah, but those are pre documented. That Dream. aren't ours. No, no, rub are your sock on it. I spilled beer on the ground before. I did too. Everyone and spills. The, and there's candle stuff over right there, there in the corner. You know what? Uh, the. The main point of this whole thing is nobody's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, landlords should be more forgiving and give you d- your deposit back. Dude, I hope my landlord's as forgiving as my fucking landlord that just gave me my deposit back without even looking at the place. Oh, yeah. Because it was so funny because the lady messages me and she just goes, you know you left like a couch and a picture and like dishes and I'm like, yeah, I don't need any of that. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like, she's like, as you came and looked at the place, give me your deposit back. I was like, nah, but she gave me my deposit back. So, because like that was my dad. My dad was like, if she already gave you your deposit back, then fuck them. Yeah. Like, like yeah. I, yeah. I was Why like, would you? Yeah, it's like, I was like, I guess that's a good point, you know. But I mean, like the good person in me was kind of like, fuck, I should clean it up. That was like, dude, during that whole thing was like the only time me and Cameron ever had a fight, like while we were moved in together. Mm-hmm. Because fucking, I don't know why, but he was just doing everything at like a million miles an hour, and I was just trying to clean the house. We had to move out in two days. He's like, Trevin, come sign this paperwork now. I'm like, does it not look like I'm fucking doing something, Cameron? And then he's like, fine, I'll just find a new fucking roommate. I was like, good, I don't even fucking like you. And then he goes into his room, and I'm just doing my shit, and then I fucking, I'm like, fuck. I go in, I'm like, what the fuck do I have to sign? (laughs) (laughs) That's the only time we've fought. We're, like, you know, because Cameron listens to this. I mean, fuck it. But, like, I I made my, like, I made it known that I was a little skeptical about moving in with Cameron, dude. But he was, he just surprises you every day. Yeah. Like, when Zach was here for the podcast, he, like, sat down, and then he's like, so how's living with Cameron? I'm like, surprisingly not that bad. He's like, yeah, he's actually kind of responsible, isn't he? And I'm like, right, dude? I just, like, Mm -hmm. I had no idea he was going to be, like, so anal about things and so fucking, like, responsible. Mm Mm-hmm. He's on top of it. Well, I mean, I mean, when you're in his situation, you know, like with how he's grown up, I mean, you had to grow up really quick. So, yeah, I mean, true. I mean, that's kind of that's just kind of the cards he's been dealt. So, I mean, I guess I shouldn't have been too surprised about it. Yeah, but he's the goat once again. Another main point of this podcast: Cameron's <laughs> the goat. Cameron is the goat. All right, we're 32 minutes into this podcast. When we come back, we're gonna play Fuck Mary Kill Crew Edition. And maybe some other games along the way. You are listening to the Crewcast, episode number 25. And starting next week, your boy Trave's going to be shopping around the area and hopefully shopping around online for sponsors for this podcast, the Trave Talks with Podcast, and the Trave Talks YouTube channel as a whole. So if you are a great business and you want to sponsor a great podcast for great friends, make sure to email me, email me at Trevin P, that's T R E V A N P, at gmail.com. Crack it. Now, crack it. Now, crack it, crack it. Alright, so now this is part of the podcast where we decide to play a little bit of a game. And before we play this game, let's just say we're all comfortable in our sexuality. So Very much. So, you know, when we say we're going to fuck one of our friends, it's all out of love. <laughs> it's, all out of love. it's because we respect them. Yeah, it's not like it's not like we're it's not like we all go around clapping cheeks in a friend group. You know what I mean? So that'd make it awkward. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So it's figurative clap smacking. You feel me? All right. So what we're gonna do is Treve's gonna wanna feel you. Orange. <laughs> 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 so Treve's gonna Treve's gonna lead the conversation. I'll bring up the three crew members' names, and we'll go around in a circle. So we'll go me, Cole, Barn, Fitz. Be over. So the first three people in the fuck Mary kill contest for the crew is gonna be Fitz, Barn, and Colge. And then. Uh, so you three will answer. Or you want me to answer too? So it's gonna be Fitz, Barn, Colge, and so say when you go, it's gonna be Fitz, Barn, Treeb. Okay, so yeah. us. Yeah, so us yeah. four. And you're gonna switch yourself out for the other, the other person. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Not okay. okay. Okay, so I got Colge, Barn, Fitz. Fuck, Mary, kill. 
I'm looking at these three young stallions. <laughs> <laughs> and it's around. Hey, oh, no, Bart, don't do me like that, dude. <laughs> All right. And also, uh, Treep said the thing, how it's a figurative cheeks clapping. It's also a figurative killing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. I just wanted to throw that in there. We're yeah, not... so don't expect the crew cast to have one less member. And we don't actually want to kill these people. Yeah. Also. These are like your best friends. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. So, first of all, I'm going to marry... You know, it's hard. It's a hard I think we're all going to have the same general consensus on who we're going to marry. You know, it, it, and there, there's different reasons I want to marry all three of you. You know, yeah, you would totally marry us. <laughs> like, like Fitz. I think Fitz would make me feel good after a hard day's work. I think he'd he'd be ready. He'd be a stay-at-home dad. He'd rub your feet. Yeah, he'd rub your feet. He'd be he'd a make great you dinner. Yeah, he'd be sure. great at that. Actually, Barn would be terrible to marry. I don't want. I don't want. To, I don't want. But dude, Colch <laughs> is a handyman. Colch could do everything around the house. Oh, dude. Yeah. He could work. I put on... together that mini bike I bought today. Dude, I'm marrying Colton. That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's well, we can we all make our case. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm marrying Colton. Uh, I think I think he just, you know, because if, if I'm the one that's going to, because, you know, if I marry Colton, I'm probably going to be, you know, kind of more of the, the feminine person in the relationship. So that means, you know, I get to lay back, just let Colts do all the... All the dirty work. The fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be the one getting fucked and fucking. But actually, I'm not gonna be doing any fucking because I'm just marrying you. Yeah, it's just the marriage. Because I got, a, I got the side piece. So side, so who I'm fucking? Who's dying a virgin? Who's <laughs> <laughs> <was> getting fucked? <laughs> Oof. Okay, so so there's also plus sides to fucking Bard and fucking Bryce. So, if I'm fucking Bryce, I just feel like that'd be a good experience. I've been friends with him for years. <laughs> you, you, know, you know, it's time to go down the old dirt road with Bryce. We're just trying to figure it out. But with fucking Bard, he's got all that cheek, all that ass, dude, all that access. You know he'd push up on that shit. <laughs> Just all that access meat, man. So, uh, Bryce, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to kill you. I'm fucking Bard. <laughs> Bryce, I don't have a reason to kill you other than the fact that, like, he said, Just, I got a fat ass. Yeah, look, look at, dude, I could pull on Bard's hair while I'm fucking him, dude. You can pull on scooters. Scooter, right? <laughs> I know, but dude. We can both put it in a pony. I'm, oh, more, of a, more, a, pony. I'm more of a curls guy. You know, that's why I'm marrying you and fucking Barn. Oh, the Fitz, curls. Don't Fitz, the curls. Get the guys. Yeah. <laughs> Gets the crew. <laughs> the girls get the crew. So, final answer: I'm fucking Barn. I'm marrying Colge, and I'm killing Bryce. Sorry, buddy. That's all right. All right, Colge. So <laughs> your selections are Barn, Bryce, and Tree. All right. <clears throat> so we'll go with the marrying first. Um. So the two that I would put in the category for the final crew out of all of us, it's either going to be Bryce or Barnage. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Treve, you're not cut out. I'm not marriage quality. I and, uh, like you said, Bryce, you get home from a long day at work, you're going to sit on the couch, you're going to smell the beef stroganoff cooking. <laughs> the mac and cheese. You're gonna the smell pork chop. Whatever. The chili mac. Whatever you want, probably. Yeah. He'll probably call you on your lunch and ask you what you want. Yeah. Even if it's takeout sharks. I'm just saying. Barnage, on the other hand... He's a hard-working man. He's been bringing, <laughs> bringing the bucks, buddy. That's facts. That's facts there. And maybe you could, I could be the stay-at-home crew yeah. member. But I think I'm going to have to marry Bryce. Fair. Bryce is totally wifey material. Yep. I'm surprised no one's fucking married him, going out with him now, honestly. I Bryce know, look is at such him. a... Look Such a that. great guy, dude. That stash would tickle. He has, he has, he has, he has hair on both chins. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Boom, roasted. <laughs> I, I had to do that because, like, when you laughed and you're like this, I was just like, God, you're That's right, dude. Yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, so the 
Fuck. Oh no, so I'll just... We'll go to kill. Yeah. We'll make it interesting why I kill both of you. Yeah. Barnage... If I married him, he would be abusive. Oh, <laughs> big! <laughs> big I'm not saying he'd abuse his wife in the future, but he would abuse me. Your like, shirt says, hello, my name is Tony Mosh. should be like more like, hi, my name is fucking Wife Beaver. <laughs> <laughs> Barnage would come home. I would say one wrong thing to him. He'd beat the shit out of me. <laughs> he's like, oh, dinner's not ready. He's going to roll up his sleeves and he's going to spank me. He's gonna show me who's boss. I don't want that in a relationship. He's gonna fuck me. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, were you talking about fucking or killing? Killing. Dream. I don't know if I want to be fucked by you. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got the curves like Barnage. You got no. Way too big of a dick. Yeah. It's gonna be uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not gonna be good either way. You have no ass to fuck and too no. big of a dick to get fucked with. No. Yeah. So, Treve, I'm going to have to kill you. I figured, I figured. And then, Barnage, you're the lucky one. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you. You're getting yeah. double fucked, dude. Yeah. Two so rounds of curves. Two. You got everything I can want. Two rounds I've never felt roll. more confident in my life. <laughs> more yeah. confident in your body. <laughs> two, round, two rounds of the road, you, in a row you're getting fucked. How's that feel? Oh, that's great. It's got to feel great when the podcast <laughs> is over. <laughs> All right, Barn, uh, so you got Fitz, Cold, and me. All right. I would, uh, I was just going to start with the killing. Oh, damn. Get it over with. Damn. I'm sorry, I would have to kill Treem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Treem's and uh, <laughs> Damn. Can I get a reasoning? I mean, <laughs> can I get a Why? Because I can <laughs> fuck or marry either Colton or Bryce. But here's the thing. I would uh, marry Bryce because he's going to be my waifu and he's going to cook for me. And, and he's going to lie about the abuse. And he he, he, li- he likes everything I like. We'd be up late night cuddling and playing video games. <laughs> playing video games, all that. He's going to be there to calm you down when you got fucking rage, dude. <laughs> I know Honey, Colt, it's just a game. I know Colton fucks like a rabbit, so it's just gonna be quick <laughs> and over. Quick and over like <laughs> ten times a day. <laughs> so, in conclusion, you're killing Tree, fucking Colge, and marrying Bryce. Yes. Can I? Ex- why are you killing me? Because <laughs> you're unfuckable. <laughs> why am I unfuckable? It's because I got no ass. No ass. No I ass. What is that dick inside of me? <laughs> I know you're not good at head. There's no way. And do you get the cooking powers of Bryce? No. Exactly. God, I'm just not wifey material. That <laughs> sucks ass. Oh, you're so definitely wifey. I offered to marry you That's when you true. had your second seizure. That's true, you did. I offered. I would have done it, too. Yeah. That's true. All right, well, let's see if Barn gets fucked for three rounds or if Treve gets <laughs> no. killed for three rounds. So you got Tree, Barn, and Colge. Fuck, Mary, kill, guys. Um, so... And don't make Treve feel good about himself. I, if you have to, just do it. Just kill me. <laughs> All right, so... I'm going to go with Mary first. And I am going to take the unorthodox here. And I'm going to marry Barnage. Because even though he's hot headed, he's, just he's a hard working man. And on top of that, I think I like it's like, like, my, good on like, top of like my mom and dad <laughs> No. Like my mom and dad's relationship. My mom hates my dad for stupid things that he does mm-hmm. and gets mad at him for things like that. You know, it's sometimes toxic or whatever. But that's I think <laughs> Yeah, you know, but I think <laughs> Like, with me and Barnage, like, he's got an attitude. So I think it could be, like, toxic back to him. Like, <laughs> well, let you tone yeah, it out a little bit. That lasts forever. Yeah, exactly. See, but if he beats your ass, you don't stand a chance. That's true. <laughs> but like, I'm okay, gonna, and no, and no, and no I'm disrespect. I'm going to take my chance Sorry, on that, ahead. and I think he's going to punch a wall before he punches yeah, it. I think he'll break a controller so, before he breaks No Bryce. disrespect. Yeah. And... Literally, I mean this in no disrespectful way. It's going to come off super disrespectful, but I mean it in no disrespectful way. Does domestic violence abuse, like, re- like exist in, like, homosexual relationships? 
It Probably, has to. Yeah. It has yeah. to. It has to. I'm sure. So, so, like, an so, 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 so like when you like so like if you beat up somebody so would you probably just get the, would you get a domestic violence charge or would you just get an assault charge, you think? Probably domestic, domestic. violence. Probably domestic still get the, because you guys because, are together. Because, yeah, it's because, a relationship. Yeah, it's legally viewed as a relationship. So right? like if I beat the shit out of a Cameron or if Cameron beat the shit out of me, that that's could assault. be that's assault. That's just assault. Even though we live together? Yeah. Oh, so it's not because, just if you lived it's like legally married. Well yeah, you're what not if you're just, Oh no, no, no it's if you're with the person. I think yeah. it's if you're with the person. Like it has to be like in a relationship. You're just, yeah, yeah, because you're just buddies with Cameron. You just live yeah. together. Okay, I thought you just meant like if you live with somebody. You no, no. Stick. Okay. And then for fuck, I have to go with Colge because ah, I don't want. Damn it! I don't want Treep's big dick in me. Because <laughs> Treep's not gonna be a bottom. No. <laughs> <laughs> My ass stinking. He ain't got no ass. <laughs> I don't think. Head would be good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I don't know. Cold's is just the most handsome out of the whole crew. Yeah, so. bar none. So there you go. And then, yeah, Tree, I'm sorry. You, you got that. You got that. We don't actually want to kill you. Yeah, I, I mean, never I, would. I, I, get but you. I would marry you in a heartbeat. True. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense because, like, I'm pound for pound, probably the ugliest person in the crew, but I'm always the one with a girlfriend. True. <laughs> yeah. True. Always. <laughs> always. Big cop. <laughs> Big cock, nice guy. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent, the nicest. All right, before we get to the next round of three, how was everybody's beer? About halfway. I would have a beer. I could, I could eat one. Yeah, I, just, I, I like to like do when I'm like at a quarter. So, mm-hmm. so just keep this. Yeah, space. and uh, we'd like to say our sponsorship for today's podcast is beer. <laughs> beer. Beer is good for you. So. Everyone should have a beer if you are of legal age. Who's, Unless, taking, who's taking the blue can for the team? Because I'm definitely taking. I'm taking a. I'm taking a gray can. So who wants a blue can? We have to rock paper scissors. Yeah, right? rock paper scissors live. One time, rock paper scissors. Rock paper scissors. Nah. You can All right. You I have it. lost the rock paper scissors series of finals. And, and I'd also like to say that we only sponsor the beers that are good for you. The one that starts with the B and doesn't end with the wiser. It's the shittiest <laughs> beer out there. <laughs> no, we'll just say it here. Bud Light, worst beer. Oh yeah. yeah. Bad okay. for you. It's bad for you. Let's let's just Don't let's just, just just to avoid anything. Blood bite. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's the, that's the worst bite. beard. Dude. I'm sorry, Perfect. Post Malone. Post dude, Post looks terrible. Have you seen it, like the TikToks and the videos of him recently? Uh-uh. Like he did this, like I think it was in Austin, like was hometown. He was doing "I Fall Apart" and he was like singing it, and he like kept falling over and like his eyes were like rolling in the back of his head. And he right, was, like, he was super fucked up. Yeah, and that sucks. Like, yeah, I mean, he used to just be like a a drink beer and. Like, but I feel cigarettes like, kind of guy. I feel like that's what happens to you in the it industry. Sucks, like you, dude. you just get into that. Post bad is the shit. good one, man. He's you get into good. that bad shit. You always yeah. do when you're in the biz. I mean, big if businesses. you're so rich, like I, I tell everybody, if I won the lottery and I was just rich, the first thing I would do is probably write my will. I tell everyone I'm gonna live forever. But if I win the lottery, I'm probably gonna overdose on cocaine. Fair. And I mean. Like honestly, like all these people <laughs> do it. I mean, they're big celebrities. It's and we're it, all that's gonna, the, their life. We're all just yeah. regular ass dudes. If a regular ass dude wins the fucking mili- I, the military, the lottery. I what mean, I'm doing, if I win the lottery, is I'm splitting it. I'm yeah. giving everybody their cut from the crew. Everybody's okay. gonna be set in life from mm-hmm. my group and my family, and that's it. And then I'll keep. I'll probably keep a good majority, am- huge amount. <laughs> yeah, Bryce can live. But, Bryce, you can live off of twenty five grand for ten years. Oh fuck! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying, if you won like a forty million dollar jackpot, oh yeah, the crew's gonna be well. The crew eating. The crew's okay. So like eating steak and lobster for dinner. I'm saying at least. So I'd probably give my mom. She gets ten. You're million, buying your mom a new house. Ten fifteen mil. She can do whatever she wants with it. But then the rest of you guys, I mean, you're all gonna get your. Wyatt At least five. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get a cut. Wyatt don't get shit because he snitched on me yesterday. 
What? Was that yesterday or the day before? The day before. You snitched on you for what? Well, okay, so when I was house. gonna buy that mini bike. Yeah. From Walmart, and I did today, and I didn't need his damn help. Yeah. Uh, and I kept it a seat, like when Wyatt called another night. When? When we're at your here. Here. Oh really? Oh, you went to bed, I think. You I went did. to bed. Well, I was so tired. From yeah, okay, so you went to bed, and I told Cameron I was going to buy this thing. And I, I didn't think, like, because it comes in a box. Actually, I kind of remember this, yeah. It comes in a box, and I didn't think it was going to fit in the back of my car. So I was like, oh, I need somebody with a pickup. Should have hit up Hunter. Yeah, I could have. But I, my car was fine. I hit up Wyatt, and I was like, hey, Wyatt, don't tell anybody, but I need your help. Would you be willing to oh. help me? Oh, I remember this. Yeah, and, and then, Wyatt, and so then before he even texts me back, he calls Bryce. Yeah. He called Bryce, and he goes, Colton needs my help with something. And obviously the first thing he thought was that I killed somebody. <laughs> I don't yeah, know fair, why. Fair assumption. How's yeah. that fair? Do I seem like a murderer to you? I feel like you're a murderer. That and then I just had to explain <laughs> that Colton's <laughs> trying <drunk. laughs> No, I, I just needed but his you needed help. help. I, yeah. I, needed help. I should have said... Well, but no, you wouldn't that, let us know. You should have just it. told him what it was and tell him not to tell anybody. Like, no, then he would have. Do it. Uh, she still. He would have told me. I don't think so. If you like, I think the reason he called was because you kept it so blunt. If you just like told him what it was and why yeah. you didn't want to tell anybody and it was a surprise, I think he would have. He could have just asked me what it was. I don't know why he yeah. called. But why? like, as, as soon as Wyatt hears that, let's yeah. let's get like a frantic message to his. I don't mind. know why. It's like, if I needed whoa. his help with a murder. I wouldn't be texting or calling him. That's I'd be fair. going to him. I would have yeah, just you'd have to, to him. meet him. Yeah. No, no, no. I would have to meet up. <laughs> <laughs> meet up. Yeah, I was but, like, well, I mean, honestly. Dude, Wyatt came in clutch with me the other day. He gave me his WWE Network login. Oh. <laughs> so I can watch the Ruthless Aggression documentary. Oh, right? shit. Fucking nice hook up there. All right, we're not done playing Fuck, Mary Kill. Though. Oh, yeah, and he also went to a wrestling pro- show today. I know. Up and did, Spokane. Okay, so fucking, he doesn't watch these podcasts, so I'm just going to fucking... It's the way I do him. Dude, Jamin, dude. Yeah? He, he invited me to this. He invited me to that wrestling show. And he said, and I quote, because it was after I got fired from my job and they knew they were gone. I was like, dude, I don't have any money. I can't go. And he's like, dude, I got you on the tickets. I got you on everything. Just let me handle it and I'll go. Just bring like 20 bucks for beer or something. And I was like, okay, cool. And then he hits me up three weeks after that, two weeks after that. And he's like, Hey man, I gotta cover the Clarkson game, <clears throat> or like I gotta like run boards for this Clarkson basketball game. Like I can't go anymore, and I was like, "Damn, that sucks." And then he hits me up yesterday and says, "Fucking just gotta cover this one last game. And I'm going to a wrestling event on Friday." And I message him, and I'm like, "Dude, you said you like you couldn't go to that anymore." Mm-hmm. And then he's like, "He's like, uh, Clarkson got eliminated or whatever." And I was like, "So is the offer still like stand?" And he's like. That's before you took food off my table and money off my plate. I'm good. And I'm like, how the fuck did I take food off your table? What do you fucking mean? Like, I haven't seen you in three weeks. I food off your table? Like, like the ticket was 20 bucks. It's like, you're telling me I took food off your table? Like, what does that even fucking mean? Yeah. Man, that frustrated the piss out of me. Cause then I just That's think, something that Jamie would say. Well, it's like food off your table. You had like because it was an independent wrestling show. It wasn't even WWE. It was like tickets were twenty bucks. Gas to get to Spokane probably like fifteen twenty. Yeah, bucks. I mean not even much. Yeah, and like and I would have paid for my own food and my fucking own drinks. And it's like uh, I just don't get it anymore. Like like I'm at this whole huge mindset of everything. Like I mean we're all gonna die. Like. <laughs> I mean, who it's, gives a shit about small little things anymore? It's just I mean, it's small I, I stuff. Think it's, I think it's like a crew mentality almost. It's just like you give and you take. Yeah, you give and take. That's yeah. Like, well, that's why he doesn't understand. It's like it's he acted like I was being selfish because I thought we weren't even going anymore. Yeah. So I was like, is that offer still on the table? Because if it is, like, I'd still want to go. And he's like, that was before he took food off my table. And like and the backstory like, of the backstory of like. Our history with him, though, like, that's how it's been. It's like, you never know when he's going to have a moment of yeah. reaction. You never know. Some oh, people yeah. are Something's going to set him off. Some people I've like, ran into a lot of those. <laughs> yeah, Martin has. And yeah. then the crew, we're just, like, so laid back and <clears throat> chill with things. I can't you know? even, like, we fought when we were in high school, but I can't remember the last time we, like, had, like, a big 
And he hasn't have, he hasn't been around in a long time, you know, or whatever. Yeah. So it's like, I haven't seen him since the Royal. I Rumble seen him today, like, and it was like the first, you know, you have a quality conversation with him. It's like so. This is the mm-hmm. decent person that we like talking. It's not to bad when I like talk to him, and it's like a regular conversation. But when you're like 26 years old and you're being a baby about everything, it's like I don't want to like. You could just say like, it's like it's like if you no. don't want me to go, just say no. and you don't and you didn't <laughs> buy me that because he was gonna buy me the ticket. Yeah, and it's like. I didn't respond to you because he's like, you didn't respond to me after that. I was like, I didn't respond to you because you said you weren't going to go. So I was like, oh, man. Was like, go. It's why? not a big deal to me. Like, I don't really care if I can't go to Spokane and see fucking Super Crazy. Like, mm-hmm. I don't really yeah. fucking care. Yeah. Like, it's like not that big shout of a deal. Shout out to Super Crazy, though. Oh, yeah, shout out. Yeah, he's a cool thing. Raz Azteca, that means Super Crazy. In but, uh, I don't know. It's just like the same thing with like Wyatt, too. Like, when he figured out that Jamie wasn't going there for a bit. And then Jamin had that thing cancel out, and he's good now or whatever. Mm-hmm. But he was asking me to go. I'm like, I'm not a wrestling dude. That doesn't I even don't... make sense why he didn't ask me to go anymore. Because it's like he invited me originally, you know. Like, yeah, and never... like I'm not a wrestling guy, and you know, and the way it's made out to be is that like it's like, you know, well you're supposed to feel guilty for not going, but. You know, it's like, I don't want to go. I never had a plan to go, and I don't like wrestling anymore. All right. It's a dying On business. to the next topic. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. We kind of got a little sidetracked. That's why you the listen, next topic. That's why you listen to podcasts, I guess. So we're going to play one more round of Fuck, Mary Kill, because we're not done throughout the whole crew. So, Fuck, Mary Kill, and uh, we got to leave one person out. So the last people left are Arturo, Jameson, Mike, and Layton. Who should we leave out? Because we'll and kill Cameron. Layton. Oh, and Cameron. Damn. So I kind of leave out Layton. Leave out Layton. And should we leave out? Actually, or you can just put all five of them in a group, and you can pick to some kill. for a section. No, we gotta do three. I think it should be Arturo, Jameson, and Mike. Yeah, probably. What about Cameron though? I feel like leaving Cameron out is kind of fun. Okay, leave Arturo out. I, well, okay. How about this? How about out of these five, each time you guys go, you can pick three out of the five. Okay. How about that? We'll just do that. Does that sound fair? You yeah. know, what? I like this better. We do the Cameron and then Mike and Arturo and Arturo, and then you can just do like Jamison, Layton, and Tyler. Oh, Ty, so we can do another round. Yeah, three rounds. Okay, and we just quick pick. And okay, go off so and right now we're doing Arturo, Jamison, Mike, and then we're doing Ty, yep, Layton, and, and Arturo. Cameron. Arturo. And Cameron. So Arturo, Jamison, Mike, this round. So we couldn't have picked hairier, grosser people for this fucking round. I don't want to fuck a single one of these men. That's what I'm saying. That's why this trio is the best trio. Yeah, uh, because wanna, it's the hardest to pick. I don't want to fuck the hardest any to pick. That's why I said it. Um, <clears throat> I'm marrying Jameson. Yeah. Jameson's a sweetheart. Up and down. Like, if I want to spend the, life, the rest of my life with either of them, I'm spending the rest of my life with Jameson. I'm fucking Mike because I feel like Mike's been in such, like, Fucked up situations. He's probably done some gay sex in his life, so he probably oh, yeah. he probably, probably he probably knows what to do. And I'm sorry, Arturo, I gotta kill you in this situation. Mike's a, Mike's a freak. Jameson's wifey material. Arturo gets killed. Uh, did I go you or Fitz next? I don't remember. Me. Okay, Colt, you're next. All right. So with Arturo, Mike, and Jameson, um, we'll just get out of the way. I'm gonna kill Arturo. Sorry, Arturo, but still shouts out to you, Harry. Too hairy. You're a great guy. I'm not gonna fuck or marry you though. In real life, I'd probably marry you. In this game, no. Um, fuck. I'm gonna fuck Jameson. Jameson knows what to do, and he's curvy, just like Barnage. Ooh. And you know. What about that? Little guy. Oh, I can get over that. The flap. I can get over that. Right. And then, for the. The marrying? I'm gonna marry Mike. Mike Mike beat me every once in a while. Worse than Barnage. <laughs> yeah. Definitely worse than Mike, Barnage. Mike it'll be a little bit different, but Mike makes good money and he'll make <laughs> even better money here in the future. He's gonna have his own house. He'll provide for you. And I feel like if you treat Mike good, he'll treat you good. So that's why I'm going to marry Mike. All right, Barn, you're up with these three. <clears throat> I can't believe we were nine deep in the crew. Yeah. Like, after, like, like realizing. I think I would marry Jameson, because Jameson can 
Cook. Jameson can get it. He can cook. <laughs> like, he can get it. And James, Jameson would be working on that dig, dude. <laughs> yeah, no shit. He'd be, he be fucking... <laughs> yeah. God damn I, I think... I think the fucking kill... I would probably kill Mike and fuck Arturo just because it'd be hilarious and Arturo would hate me for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like one of those things where it's like, you don't live unless you fuck Arturo. And Arturo's like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but he didn't do it, hell, because he loves the crew. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I feel like that, that's just how most of the crew is, just fucking ride or die. Like, I oh, mean, hell yeah. I mean, if there was a gun point in my hand, be like, you gotta fuck Barn or you're dead. Oh yeah, dude. I'd be like, like, hop up in me. (laughs) Hop on that shit like butter on a pop tart. (laughs) (laughs) You ever put butter on a pop tart? It's so so freaking good. good. (laughs) All right, fancy the final for this one. We got Arturo, Jameson, and Mike. All right, so I'm gonna just start out with Arturs. I'm gonna say Arturs. I have to kill him. Ooh. Because I don't think he's marriage material. <laughs> I really Cody, watch don't. out. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, just, oh, yeah, shout out to Cody Yeah, shout out Arturo. to Cody and Arturo. Yeah. Engage. Engage. Congrats on that. Hell yeah. Everybody, cheers. 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 Woo. Woo. Hopefully, this engagement lasts better than the last crew engagement. Mm. True. All right. But, um, so, yeah, I just don't think he's marriage material, and I don't think he's sweat material. He's a sweaty, he's sweaty, <laughs> and hairy, and <laughs> nasty, and massive, and huge. So, yeah. And we haven't seen him in a while. And so he's gonna, so he's probably And I feel like he would just manhandle anyone Dude, in Arturo's the Dude, low-key str- <laughs> Dude, he has huge hands. Dude, yeah. Man. Bigger yeah. than dreams yeah. and That's barnages. why he would catch so well in football. Barnage, yeah. hold on. Compare yeah. hand size. I just want to see how big your hands are. Dude, yeah, we're pretty similar. And Arturo has bigger hands yeah. than Barnage. Oh, yeah. Arturo's got big hands. And that's all I want to see your hands. He's got long dude, fingers. Dude, Fitz just got long fingers, dude. Holy fuck. My but, God. um... <laughs> <laughs> and then I say I'd, I'd probably... Man, this is a the, tough Yeah, one. these are... Because I was too. thinking about this, and I I almost killed Mike, just because I think Mary you got or fuck. no. I almost killed Mike oh, because okay. I had to think about he might be carrying something if he's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Fair assumptions. You know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, before so, pill, penicillin kills it. Whatever he's carrying, unless okay. it's herpes or AIDS. But. So um, I end up. I'm gonna go with. Fucking Mike, and then Marion Jameson. Auntie. Because Jameson's, uh, I feel like, yeah, you might be budget beasting on some rice and eggs or something. <laughs> Dude, that's so all on, he eats on, is rice yeah, and eggs. On, on, the, on the week or whatever, but he's he going to treat you right. And Once a week, he'll take you out. And then Mike <laughs> will never treat you right. <laughs> he's going to dog you down and beat you up, and I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. It'll give you a rough time. I think Mike would marry me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all, y'all are the, the it couple. You guys already talked <laughs> about married once. I mean, you guys were married for a bit. Whole it was lot Facebook of official. It was. Yeah. All right, so the last round of three, we got Layton, Ty, and Cameron. I'm fucking Ty. Yeah? I don't give a fuck. Ty got the cake from what I remember. Oh, dude. I miss Ty. (laughs) I do, too. Ty, if you're listening to this, I don't know how deep you get into this podcast, but... We We miss miss you and love you. And, dude, I would shit myself if one day he just showed up. Oh, dude. That's like, I don't want him to tell us when he shows up. I just want him to. Yeah. I just want him to. I'll cry. I'd probably cry. Oh, yeah. He, He would have to show up to... Bryce's, Bryce's house. Because yeah. yeah. I've moved, you've moved, Barnage. He doesn't know where Barnage lives. Hell no. <laughs> nah, dude, you'd have to show up to Bryce's, dude. And I would, dude, if he like just showed up inside my house, I'd probably break down and cry. I, just I probably would too. I just haven't seen him in so long. Like, it's been since Dude, the other day he sent like a couple of messages into the crew chat. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And I was like, no, it's one of those days where you mm-hmm. decided to just randomly message the group chat. Well, yeah, and it was like something about like what we were talking about, too. Mm-hmm. Or like it was a meme or a picture or something that like... Um, yeah, and then like anytime we have like a fight, he always kind of... Like, yeah, a little bit. He always kind of jumps in like, hey, 
Hey, you guys oh, are good. Hey, mister. You yeah. know. So I'm fucking Ty. Born mm-hmm. in. I am marrying Cameron, even though I think Cameron would be a little bit of abusive, but after living with him, <laughs> dude, he knows how to keep a tidy house. He did all those dishes. I, I was supposed to put them up. I haven't done that yet. I need to, but Cam did all those fucking dishes. Cam does, like, basically everything around this house. He's fucking a hard worker. He's dedicated. Great guy. He's mm-hmm. a great guy. Can't, I can't say, like... Like, ever since I moved in with him, I can, like, not even say enough good words about Cameron. Oh, yeah. 100%. I'd, I'd marry Cameron. And I'm killing Layton. Because, like, Layton. Lay, Layton's not emotionally... <laughs> he would be emotionally invested in me. And if I fucked him, I don't think he'd even be into it. So, like... <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I'm killed. Thank Layton. you for putting that on the line. I'm killed, Layton. So cold. What do you got? Oh, man. This one's tough, tough. Because. Okay, so. I'm definitely going to kill Layton. <laughs> right? He wouldn't be into it. He wouldn't be into anything. He'd hate his life. He hates his life. No, he doesn't hate his life, but. You know, just that. And, like. He still takes shots of fireball. Like, grow up. <laughs> Take shots of tequila. <laughs> I've been doing that with Colton recently, yeah. and it's been fucking me up. But, like, also, like, Cameron's gonna have his own, own restaurant one day, and it's nice to, like, build a relationship from, like, bottom up. Yeah. I'm not saying he's at the bottom, but, like, he's at the starting point. Yeah, he's starting up. He's yeah. at the start point. And then Ty, Ty makes good money. He's a lineman. Oh, he makes such He good lives money. in California. Yeah, so you know he makes, dude, I bet you he makes a shit ton of money compared to, like, Idaho standards. Like, not oh, yeah. close. So he probably so, makes a hundred. Honest, honestly, I'd probably marry Ty, because Ty's such a good guy. I love that guy. And then I'd fuck Cameron because I'm his side piece. Hey, you have been. That's, a, that's all I'm good for. Yeah, you've been. In his you, eyes. You've been a side piece. For but him. I would all, but, like, those two are very interchangeable because I love Cameron, too. All right, Barn, fuck, Mary, kill, Lange, Cameron, and uh, Ty. I'd marry Ty for the money. <laughs> yeah, fair. He ain't uh, nothing but a gold digger. I'd <laughs> kill Layton because Layton would not be into it. And <laughs> I, Cameron, Cameron would be, like, riding on that shit. He'd be yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you're fucking Cameron, killing Layton, and marrying Ty. Yeah. All right, Bryce, you're the last one in this round. All right. Layton, Ty, and Cameron. And we're going to go with the consensus here. Lage is getting gilled. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lage, but they're right. Lage, you're so average. You would not be you're into it. So average. Or nothing. You're not... I don't, I don't see marriage material in them. And this, this next one's tough. Because I love Ty. I think Ty would be perfect because he'd make you laugh all the time. Oh, dude, he's, he's so funny. He, he's going to... You're going to get the money because he's an electrician, hard-working man. And, I don't know. I just think, like, he's a breadwinner. He's funny. He's got everything going for him. He feasts. Yeah, so that would be tough to not marry him. But then you go to Cameron. He's got he's got a plan. He's mm-hmm. got, he wants to be his own chef, his own restaurant guy. And uh, you just fuck him on the and, side. And, and, and I mean, he's, very, he, he's so good at cooking. And it's very so sexy I mean, gotta, to just, like be with someone <clears throat> that like has a plan and knows what they want. That was and like me before I like, got fired. That's like very passionate about something. That's really yeah. like if there's any women watching this, <laughs> like, <laughs> like if you're passionate about something, that's awesome. That's so dope. That's like, I mean, awesome. Like I mean, I've I've been passionate about shit for a while. I mean, like... That's awesome. If people, like, have a path they want to go on and they're working towards it, it's definitely dope. Yeah. So, I'd probably just marry Ty because he's going to make you laugh. He's just great. Good guy. And then Cam, I'd fuck, even though I'd marry him, too, because... Mm-hmm. Food. Just like, yeah. Food those lies, two are definitely, man. Those two are definitely... <laughs> fuck Cam for one. a discount on his food. Yeah. 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 Food that's basically... For free that's basically, <laughs> that's basically what I'm doing now. I'm living with Cam to get free drinks at the country club. Yeah. Like, I mean... Hey. You're going in hey. there. All right. And to <clears throat> close off this podcast, we're about 36 minutes deep, which is wild. I didn't think we were talking for that long in the second part. So we're, yeah. So we're about an hour and six hour minutes eight. deep. Uh, we'll play a little bit. We'll play a little bit of uh, 
Would you rather? I think one good question, and I have a really good one. All Can right. I start it off? Well, let's let's. Does anybody does everybody else have a question at all? Do you two have one? I mean, I have one, but it's not like serious or that right. good. I think yeah. everybody should do their one, and we should save your good one for last. Okay. Okay. It's not that serious. It's pretty funny. Okay. It's well, not that funny. I want to do my one first because obviously we're all big football fans in the building. Okay. My would you rather question. And uh, hopefully in the next episode we can do this longer. We kind of spent a lot of time kind of bitching about people and doing fuck, Mary kill. But um, my question is, is would you rather never see your team win more than six games? Actually, let me rephrase that. Would you rather see your team make it to the AFC Championship game or the EX work? Oh, I guess he's in the NFC. Would you rather see your team make it to the Divisional Championship every year and lose? Or would you rather see your team win the Super Bowl once but never have a winning season again in your lifetime? Win or make it? Win. And I'm saying when you reach the conference championship, there's no guarantee if you win that championship or lose, but you make it every year. Well, I can tell you my answer. I'd rather be like the Saints, get there every year, but never make it. Because <laughs> I, I screw, dude, I'm a Browns fan, man. Losing season over and over again kills your soul. It yep. really kills your soul. And I'd rather, I'd rather have a good season every year because I could talk shit still and still be happy, but at the same time, kind of sad. I mean, yeah, no Super Bowl, but, oh, man. Just to be able to talk shit and have a good team would be nice. I'm going to be blunt. I'm going to be straight. I'd rather win the fucking Super Bowl one time and just be shit for the rest of my life. Like, at 20, I'm 21 years old. If we won the Super Bowl one time in my damn lifetime <laughs> and we just sucked for the rest of life, it's like literally I spent from when I was six years old until this point prepping myself for shit, dog shit seasons. But if we win one Super Bowl at this age, because you know, when I was younger, I was like, man, I just want to win a Super Bowl. But now it's like, this is where I'd appreciate it. This is where I'd want it. This mm-hmm. is where I'd be like, man, I need it. I need to see it. <laughs> Garner Minshew's my fucking quarterback, dude. Like, fucking give me one Super Bowl and let us be shit for the rest of my life, and I'll be happy. This was me, like, asking God last season when we (laughs) traded for Odell and Baker is just going off after his rookie season. It's just like, please, God, let us win this rule. We can be shit afterwards. I don't care. No, you're going to be shit for the Well, that's the shit thing that happened (laughs) to me. was like we were up fucking 13 points against New England. And shit calls, and we could have won this because if it was been Bortles versus Foles, and our defense would have attacked that def- attacked that offense, and Bortles and Fournette. Not with the Philly special, bud. Dude, dude, fucking AJ Boye, Jalen Ramsey, Miles Jack, Telvin Smith don't fucking matter. One of them's taking that Philly special for sick or knocking <laughs> Foles out for the rest of the game. And Chase Daniel is not gonna beat the Jags in the Super Bowl that year. We would have won it. And it just it hurts my heart. I want to see us win one, and we can be shit for the rest of our life, Colch. I would Colch, rather because you've seen them win once. Haven't? Well, I mean, you twice. Have, but you haven't been die. When, like, when do you think you started being like diehard though? When I was your guys' friend in the tenth grade. So you haven't seen them win since you've been diehard. I've seen them win twice. I've been like a fan, but I wasn't like into it, super into it. Yeah. Like I had a couple shirts. Yeah. Like I, I could call myself a Pittsburgh fan. I could tell you like the. Big guys, I couldn't tell you the whole lineup like I could now, because I'm I'm like way more into it, and honestly, probably just be good, like Always. make it make it to the AFC Championship every time. Honestly, because you know you could talk shit like when AB was going off and we didn't win the Super Bowl. I could still talk shit like AB's the best. In the league, you know, Le'Veon was was the best in the league. I could. Your fucking Browns are still at the bottom of the yeah, leaderboard. I, like. I could. I could talk the shit. I could walk the walk. You know, and no matter what, you'd still have a killer team. That's always a contender. True. Yeah. So. You go with yeah, that. Yeah, I would just rather them just be always good, but never make it or win the Super Bowl. That's fair. So, Bryce, uh, what do you think about the Cardinals? 
Well, this is the obvious and easiest choice of my life. Whoa, I'm going to go with we win in a bowl, and <laughs> I don't care about anything else after. Yeah. Because I love Larry. This man's been grinding. I mean, we've been there. We've done that. We were at the Super Bowl. The other reason we were at the Super Bowl is because of him. Mm-hmm. It was the best postseason runner and receiver ever. And he won. He got us back in the game. We were down two touchdowns in the fourth mm-hmm. quarter. We didn't deserve to be in the game. But it was him. Same thing with the championship. We've lost. We got our ass stomped by the Panthers last time we were in a championship game. I would absolutely love to see him Larry. right off into the sunset. Larry get Win the bowl. And I would not care about the rest of Your my life. time. I yeah. wouldn't care. I would be completely, utterly satisfied. Because I, that was probably the biggest heartbroken moment you could have when you, I lost the first Super Bowl. Yeah, uh, I was done. And you were young too. Mm-hmm. It was, that was tough. Like nine. Yeah, that was 12, 11 years ago. It was tough. You were nine years old. I was broke from it because mm-hmm. I, I'm, I'm like I'm all in, just like I am now. I've always been all in. On well, that team. was like, that was like when we lost to the Patriots in the AFC Championship game. Like I was broken. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, think about like I understand like you lost like that, but think about the grind of putting in a thirteen and three year and then just getting your ass mud here's, stopped. Here's my I thing, mean we though. lost by like See, 40. But like the year oh, here's my thing though is like if you know your team's gonna lose in that division championship every year you would not be as heartbroken because you know they're going to lose and then on But top no of what it, I'm saying is it's like you reach a conference championship game and you either Make it to the Super Like, you're you in it every year, but you team. either lose or you either win. So, you could either have multiple Super Bowl championships or you can lose every year. That's just the... I would just I want against one. my team every year. I want one. Yeah, in Vegas? Yeah. On hell of bucks? I want one, dude. I, want one. I would just want one. I'd be sad. Dude, <laughs> honestly, like, I probably could kill myself if the Jags win a Super Bowl and I'd be fine. And yeah, it would be it would be amazing if Carlos Stansby came back. Whoa, like don't, yeah. For the Cardinals don't, on the bowl. No, for, the, for the Browns. Frosty Rucker comes back, too. <laughs> Frosty. I just Frosty want Carlos. Carlos. All right, so I think we're done with that one. Uh, who, Barn fits? which one do you guys want to go first? Uh, mine was just kind of like a joke. Okay, but it's so just it's like... Mine was, too. Would you rather be fucked by Sasquatch or the Mothman? <laughs> <laughs> what the f- <laughs> that's, I mean, that's a tough one. It's a tough one, isn't it? It's a tough one. <laughs> 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 that's a tough one. A little funny story. Me and Arturo went on uh, Wikipedia and changed Mothman's thing where, like, before he killed every victim, he would do a roundhouse kick. <laughs> it's just like it stayed there for like two or three months before Jesus. the media took it out. Um, probably Mothman. Because, you know, Mothman's spooky. You know, like, you, you get spooked up on Mothman. He's like, <sighs> you know, and, and like, he's like, hey, you know, because Mothman don't talk. Mothman speaks in moth. So he's, and Colt hates moth, so I'm kind of interested in his answer. So he goes, he goes, and then you're just like, fuck, it's the moth man, <laughs> dog. Like, Jesus Christ. Dude, fucking, imagine getting rolled up on Sasquatch, because, you know, Sasquatch rolls up on you. That, He's that, gonna give you a face full of pillow. That boy got fucking claws. That boy's bending you over and scratching you and killing you while you're fucking. Mothman's a little mystique. Mothman, Mothman is like, probably not even real. So, I mean, like, he's going to get you in a dark place. And like gonna he's just spooky. gonna he's just gonna take you. It's gonna be spooky, and he's gonna stick his moth cock up your mo- up your human asshole, and <laughs> you are just gonna fucking take it because it's like, sure this is spooky and this sucks, but I mean like at least I'm a little scared. There's a little mystique. There's like I'm the first person to get raped by Mothman, and this is <laughs> so kind of fucking dope. You've been raped by Sasquatch before, dude. I'm just saying. Imagine, <laughs> would you rather get raped by a moth <laughs> or Sasquatch? That's, Mothman. I know, but still, I'd rather get raped by Mothman, hands down. Okay, hands down. Ever... Okay, hold on. We got Jamie on the case. No, pulled... no, no. Uh, so it's like, uh, has ever? <sighs> Jesus Christ! I'm trying to see. You. No, I'm just kidding. Has anyone ever claimed Sasquatch has raped them? I bet. We're gonna find some cases. I bet. 
<coughs> I do not have the coronavirus. <laughs> the woman who gave birth to Bigfoot. The <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. I bet you there has been. I bet you there has been. But no, nah, I'm getting, I'm getting raped mm. by Mothman. Gold. All right, so <clears throat> you look at a picture of Mothman, and it's a moth. Do you see a fucking dong on that thing? I mean, and if that dong comes out when it's erect, ain't gonna be that big. But but you think about Bigfoot. So like, even with a phobia, we, we don't we don't know if Bigfoot. Is more like a human or more like a gorilla? I would assume it's more like a gorilla. Yeah, you can't and gorillas speak to and gorillas, full erect, only have like an inch sized dick. But I bet you the girth is a fucking incredible. You really think so? Yes. You ever see a like? So there's that famous video of Bigfoot, and you can't see no dick. I don't believe in Bigfoot, but yeah. You know. Oh, man, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I'm just saying, no matter what, you get rape. Rape is rape. Rape is horrible. I'm not condoning well, it, yeah. obviously. But I'm just saying, like, Moss, one of my biggest fears. Bigfoot, I don't think he has a big dick. I don't think it's going to be bad. He's only got big feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what they say about big feet? Big, big socks. Cock. Big socks. Big cock. That's not true. I'm just saying I'm just saying a Bigfoot is more like a gorilla than a human, and I don't think his dick's gonna be that. But the big. thing is, dude, if he's raping you, he ain't just gonna be fucking you. Like he's gonna be fucking clawing. He's gonna be manhandling you. Yeah, dude, he's gonna hurt you. You're dead after that. <laughs> Fuck, that's true. Yeah, probably Mothman then. Yeah. Mothman's my worst fear. <laughs> But he ain't the only got, thing you got, like, he ain't got Moth, that big of a dick. The only thing you got know with Mothman is like Mothman's dick's gonna be in you, and he's gonna leave you. And the only thing you'll get maybe is like some fluttering sounds in your ear. And he's, dude, have Moth ever been in your face? Dude, moths are disgusting, creepy animals. Bigfoot, <laughs> he's real. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. And uh, so both of them would suck. But you probably changed my mind. Big Bigfoot would definitely fuck you up also while he was raping you. So probably Mothman. Barn, who would you rather get fucked by? I'd probably say Mothman. Yeah. Because Bigfoot would definitely kill you. I don't feel like uh, Mothman, his shit's going to be like inside of you. Like inside of him. It's not like out there just dangling. Yeah, and I feel like Bigfoot is just going to rape you in the middle of the forest. Mothman's going to take you somewhere nice, like a dark cave. Right or underneath no one a can fucking see. Right underneath a fucking telephone line. Well, e- either <laughs> it's, def- it's definitely gonna be like in some kind of light because yeah, moth. Yeah. But no matter what, it's gonna be scary. I mean, Mothman's gonna put put on a show for you. Rape is scary. We should have said rape. We should have said you. fucked. Yeah, that's fair. All right, Fitz. Uh, I gotta go with probably. I'd probably go with Bigfoot. Wow. Because I don't think Mothman's real. (laughs) (laughs) That's that's not how it works. Yeah. Mothman's not real. It's in a figurative world. I believe that Sasquatch is real. (laughs) Me too. But I don't believe in Mothman. Let's say they're both hella hella real. Okay, if they're both hella real, I'd rather have an encounter with the Sasquatch. I think that would be... (laughs) Crazier. I would definitely and, have my phone on me so I could do some over. I'd rather have an account with the Squatch than I did some oversized butterfly. <laughs> Look at ass. <laughs> Dude, fuck. That question blows mine out of the water. <laughs> God damn, uh, water right. should have went last. Alright, uh, Colder Fitz wants to go next. Fitz? Yeah, mine's not that great, but I'll just do it any. Anyway. I'll go first. Would you rather. Be stranded in the ocean or the Grand Canyon? Oh, Grand Canyon. Easy. I don't fuck with water. I would be like... like The thing is, is that like I can swim fine, but I'm not like confident enough in my swimming abilities that I would 
feel like I would do good. And the thing is, you're stranded in the middle of the ocean. Like, where are we, where are we at? Like, what ocean? We in the Pacific? We in the Atlantic? Where, which, which, uh, fu- which fucking ocean are we in? And are we in the I'd middle? I'd probably say Pacific. And, I, and we're in the middle of the ocean? Yeah. I'm saying that you can't see islands. You're in international waters. Okay, you cannot so in... see islands around you yeah, in fuck any vicinity. That. Dude, because you're in the fucking... If you're stranded in the fucking Grand Canyon, you know for a fact you're going to have a bunch of white dads there bring their families, and they're going to be like, Oh boy, do you see the fucking Grand Canyon? I'm talking and dude, like... They're, they're going to be like... The hey, Grand Canyon's a hurt. lot bigger hey. than that. There's a lot. And there's a lot of it. I would rather be stranded in the Grand Canyon. And also, you gotta maybe take in effect, like, temperature, like... Yeah, because, like, like, I 120 mean, degrees in the Grand Canyon. Yeah, you're just you gonna have slowly water. have yourself be you know, killed, but, like, I'd rather, like, have the heat and, like, everything slowly kill me than be getting eaten by a shark. So, I would definitely say, without a doubt in my mind, I think that's kind of easy for me. Grand Canyon. I would say the wa- <clears throat> middle of the... Fucking ocean. You're fucking tripping. <clears throat> I've seen Life of Pi, so I know I can do it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Life of Pi. He survived with a fucking tiger on his boat. That's okay. savage. No, I'm just kidding. Honestly, though, I would choose the water, though, because I am more confident in my swimming, and I got a lot of fat, so if I was really stranded in the water for a long time, my body would take a while to uh, digest itself compared to, like, Colton. Yeah. Yeah, Colton would get fucked up out in the water. But at the same time, I am, it's a hard one because, like, the desert, you at least like, you have a chance of walking in a direction. Like, if you're so, in a rock, you have no d- direction at all. Are you saying, like, stranded, like, you have to help I'm yourself? I'm stranded in the ocean. And you're just You gonna... cannot see any islands or anything yeah. land near you. And then the other is, option is, is Grand main... Canyon. Yeah. Because on land you always walk south, you'll you'll wind up to somewhere. But like in water, you can go south as much as you want. You can land in the fucking Antarctic or like on the Wherever. North Pole or South Pole. Like you could fuck yourself up if you just kept going south in the water. Yeah. Dude, no, nah, yeah, Grand Canyon for sure. What did what did you say, Lauren? What I was saying water. Water. Yeah, I'm I'm more confident in my skills to survive in the ocean than. Land, but at the same time, land would probably be a little bit easier because all you gotta do is walk south. Well, have you ever seen that movie where like that dude has like the rock like trapped on the uh, what's that called? Some 147 hours. minutes or something or 147 hours? I can't remember. What yeah, that's a good movie though. Yeah, but yeah, he has to cut it off because he slips. Water scares me, man, because you get exhausted, dude, and at that and you can't sleep because like at that point, because if you sleep, you're drowning. You Not sleep the on ocean your back. necessarily, but I, I've seen. So the ocean has a stuff. higher salt content, which makes your body float just a tad mm-hmm. bit better. Like but if you go to the, also, uh, like, you, like if you go to, uh, well, I, I can't remember what it's called, like Death Lake or something like that. It's where it's like the salt content in the water is so crazy; literally nothing can live in it. It's ridiculous, and you. Any person basically go out in that water and just sit there and float for hours. He has the salt Yeah, but if you fall, you like, out. I don't, I just don't even know, like, if you fall asleep in the ocean, though, it's like. Oh, yeah, you fucked, especially if there's waves. Yeah. Yeah. Or sharks. Sharks aren't, like, that's the thing, though. Sharks aren't just out there in the water trying to fuck, like, like no you. killers. Yeah. Like, if you're swimming like an otter or you're like causing attention or have a heart, fast heart rate and you're panicking, you hard on. it's like, I mean, a hard on too. If you have a hard on, your heart rate's pounding. Yeah. I mean, either way, you, that's the like, only way you're going to attract a shark unless you like cut yourself too. But like, a shark's not just going to be like, oh, there's something up there at the top of the water. I'm going to go fucking eat it. Alright. And I called you answer that one. So, <clears throat> I. Would be more confident land, uh, being stranded in the Grand Canyon. That would be. Personally, I think I could survive. I know it's like a desert kind of thing, but if you go to the lowest point, there's water. And I think I'm... It's not fresh. I know. But I think I'm confident. I'm confident in my survival skills. I think that I would last way... Longer. Now we're talking about. Are we like, saying stranded like we were just gonna die out there? 
I mean, still, the still the Grand Canyon. Well, no I mean, you what. can make it out and live. Yeah, but you gotta work for it. I mean, oh yeah, obviously. So I think, for me, I would do the Grand Canyon, no question. Well, is there any like crazy animals in the Grand Canyon? I mean, there's animals definitely mm-hmm. down there, like. Yeah. Coy- coyotes and other shit. Yeah, I mean, there's animals. And, and uh, on top of, like, the Grand Canyon, like, yeah, it gets skyrocketing hot, but in the night, too, it, it gets, gets way free. way oh, below cool. freezing. That's so crazy that happens. Like, it's because the ground absorbs all the heat. Yeah, so, like, at night. Then, I mean, you're dealing with hypothermics and I think I over can, the top. I think heat. I could build fire. I think I could survive. I, yeah, just, I'm on, I, can I just fire. can't trust I just don't trust my swimming. I I would be in the ocean. I think that would be a so ch- scary. I would take a chance on finding it. My thing too about it is like when I die, I want like when I like my ashes and stuff, I want part of my ashes out in the ocean. That's like something I want. So if I were to die out there You're already out where I'm you already want to be. out where I want to be and that's Something fair. out there will eat you after you de- start to decompose. Oh, yeah. Water. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's a shitty ending. You're going to starve to death if you can't catch any fishies. Yeah. Or I mean, if you're out there land. just floating, you're going to die. Yeah, how are you going to catch fishies, like, if you're just out in the ocean? Do you just fucking take a little cut of your finger and just dab it in the water just something comes up and eats it? What about a shark? What about a shark? <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Sharks <laughs> fucking you get, you, get, you get in the water and you tussle with it like an alligator. You either eat or get eaten. <laughs> yeah. If you see a shark, you better go for the gills. <laughs> and, I, and I've heard that drowning is pretty peaceful. Dude, that... But I, I I've don't. almost drowned. Well, like, you know when you're like... I was like seven. Mm-hmm. You know, and I felt like I almost drowned like in a pool. Mm-hmm. But, like, I did not like that. See, that's, like, the panic, but after you, like, suck in the water, there's, like... No hope. There, It's just, you already know there's no hope, and it, it's just, like, a calming sensation, because there's nothing you can do. Like, you can't, you're not breathing no more, it's just shut down. Well, that's kind of how... Yeah. I mean, yeah. That's kind of... But I'm going to take my chances in the Grand Canyon. Because after that water gets in your lung, your fucking DMT is kicking in and like, you're tripping the fuck even out. Even Austin said, too, you float a little bit better out there. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty good with the whole <laughs> the whole back float. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to take my chances. Mm-hmm. All right, so Colge, to cap off the uh, Would You Rather, or what was it? Yeah, yeah. Would, you would, rather. You rather? <laughs> would You Rather. Would You Rather, yeah. Okay. All right, so Would You Rather have your big toes as thumbs or your thumbs as big toes? <laughs> I think my big toes has thumbs. Or hold on, hold on. How is this like? So I'm so like, you have your big toes and they're where your thumbs are instead, or you have your <laughs> thumbs and they're big toes uh, instead. I want toes to be big thumbs also. I want all big. Toes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't <laughs> double up on the big. Toes. I want big. You're like toes. I would be way more efficient. <laughs> Thumbs <laughs> thumbs with big toes. You know how Dude, your thumbs can... right now are you know big toes with your big be... ass. <laughs> no, because these ones can't move as much. So Bart, yeah, okay, there's so, holes Bart, in. So Bart, your, toe, your fucking thumb is the size of a fucking nine-year-old's big toe. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, so basically it's like, would you have, rather have four big toes or four thumbs? Oh. Four big toes. Four big toes? Yeah. Or big toes. Like putting on the toes, putting on the hands, yeah. Or big toes. I think that's the easy one. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused still. Like, okay. would you rather have your whole fucking hand be big toes or your whole No, f- no, no, just oh. your thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> just your thumbs be big toes. And big you toes. also have big toes, or would you rather have thumbs on your hands and thumbs on your feet? I want that. I want thumbs on my feet and my hands. (laughs) What? (laughs) What? Dude. I would rather have that also. Really? Why? Just thumbs. But what what are you going to get out of thumbs on your feet? Nothing. Bigger shoe size. (laughs) I'm going to look way cooler. (laughs) For one. Everybody's going to have to fucking wear wide shoes and everybody's going to be wearing I would have the best career ever. 
foot jobs, man. That shit, <laughs> that shit would skyrocket. They'd be like, oh my god, this person's got toes on their fucking feet. <laughs> like, <laughs> feet or their their toes. thumbs on their toes, or whatever the fuck we're talking about. I'm just about. saying, like, could you imagine these hands with big toes instead of thumbs? Just thick boys like just that, All babe. of them just... No, big, just, just your thumbs. Oh, just the thumbs, okay. <laughs> just thumbs and big toes. Okay. Okay. So you have one singular thumb on each toe? Yeah. Or like for your big toes? Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have that. I'd rather have a big toe on my hand and my foot. Really? I would. Did you hear my question? Yeah. Well, how effective it, are big toes on your hands? The question. That's what okay, I'm how big are your big toes? Like, that shit's gonna that be big. a big chubby fucker right there. And there's one knuckle. I ain't never gonna lose in a so long. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta, Could you imagine getting a wet willy from one of those bad boys? <laughs> what do you got, Fitz? So I'm gonna go with thumbs on your toes. Hell yeah. Because when you think about it, I mean, look at this by your big toe. I mean, that's gonna be a stub. Toes are just gross. I know, but it's gonna be yeah. like, it's gonna be a stub yeah. right here. Yeah. Okay. Just a, like yeah. that half your thumb size basically. I ran into a person. Lucia, she has stuff. Dude, oh, I know. Why you gotta <laughs> the Dude, and uh, and Dude, uh, those fuckers are like yeah. And tiny. I've seen those her thumbs and are I basically would, big toes. Yeah, and I would not want those on my hands. Me. So, <laughs> so I'm just gonna go with big thumbs. The thumbs on the toes. Yeah. Dude, I remember her hating that shit. Oh yeah, yeah. she hated it being called out too. But just so. All right, I I have another question. Now I was thinking about it. This might be one of our longest podcasts ever. Because like, the first one was 30 minutes, and now we're in an hour and three minutes on the second part. All right, yeah, so let's wrap it up. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Cameron just messaged me and said, fucking try and stall for him to come back. So, I mean. Oh, oh man. So, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm hoping maybe this this question will last long, but. He said if it doesn't, then it's no big big deal. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if Cam, you know, makes an appearance, can say some words. But. All right. So, my question is. And I already know what you guys are going to ask, and I'll answer once you ask it. Would you rather shit out of your mouth and have your taste buds in your asshole? Or would you rather have your taste buds in your mouth? And Okay, hold on. Let me try to reword this. Okay, so your taste buds are in your asshole. So would you rather shit out of your mouth and still have your taste buds there? Or mm-hmm. draw the shit out of your asshole but your taste buds beating your asshole. Not being able to taste when you eat. Hmm. So you'd have to eat everything in your ass, but you'd still shit out of your ass. Well, you'd have to eat? In your ass. Because your taste buds would be in your ass. Well, but you can't just eat? Well, you can just eat, but you'd have to taste. If you wanted to taste something, you'd have, okay. to, you'd have to go up your ass. Well, it's going to say, because then this would be looked at as like... I mean, I can taste things with my ball sack. No, I'm just <laughs> 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 the stupid ass stuff that's going around. It's like, oh, you can taste soy know. sauce with your ball sack. It's like, don't, don't, do not... Don't put your, do that. Do not put your ball sack in soy sauce. <laughs> like, or sriracha sauce. you're dumb enough to do that, you're an idiot. Like, okay, so definitely just have taste buds in my asshole. But you'd still taste shit, though. Either yeah, way, you're taste tasting it, but, shit. But, like, just imagine, like, every time you'd shit out of your mouth, oh, you'd probably throw here's, up. Actually, I got a better question. Well, think about it. Because Ashley asked me this question the other day, and it's fucked, and it's been... See, actually, no, Cece asked me and Ashley this question, and it's fucked. Okay, would you rather watch your parents fuck once a day for the rest of your life, or join in one time to, let it, to watch it stop? <clears throat> For me, I'm. I'd rather watch the rest of my life. I'm not gonna join in on that shit. I'm not either. Not with my parents. I'm not not with, joining not in. Not with Tim and no. Susan. Tim and Susan. I'm definitely not joining in. So sucks. You gotta watch. Or uh, I could just be that kid. Well, my parents are divorced. Sure. No. Yeah. <laughs> join in with a. Tag team with my dad with some fat bitch. <laughs> no. But if my parents were still together, I would rather just watch every single day the rest of my life. That makes it really hard for me because like, my dad's already remarried. So I have a stepmom. 
Yeah, and your stepmom's like three Babe. years older than us, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> my dad and my mom used to babysit my dad's wife. Yeah, yeah, she's like three years older than us, no isn't she? Really? Yeah, when yeah. she was a kid, my parents would watch her. That's fucked up. <laughs> she actually that, not that much older than us. She's like three years older than us. Sorry, she's no, little no. She's like 23, 24. No, she, she's... Twenty five, thirty now, but she's not like my dad's like forty. But yeah, damn, your dad's that young. Your dad's pulling me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my dad's fifty one. Dude, my mom and dad are both forty. My mom is no, forty seven. My dad's forty six. No, my dad's fifty. Both of my parents are in the fifties. My mom's fifty. I think she's fifty or fifty one. My mom's thirty. My dad's fifty five. Yeah, our parents went to high school together. So did ours, like, when my, my yeah. dad. My mom went. are a bit younger. My mom went with Casey. Yeah. Yeah, my dad. Well, yeah, your dad went with my ex's mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were all cool, too. Yeah, Stephanie, too. Mike's mom. Yeah. I bet you she was so hot in high school. She was. <laughs> you should see pictures. Oh, dude, I bet. Dude, Mike has the hottest mom out of the crew. True. Okay. We're just going to stop it there. Yeah, <laughs> that's was, for the next podcast. Yeah, that's the next podcast. We're going to rank the moms and the crew. So, <laughs> Alrighty, guys. That's going to do it for the crew cast episode number 25. Cole, do you got any parting words? Uh, just have a good rest of your day. Um, and I hope it's the best ever. Barn, any parting words? Love your family while you still got them. And uh, peace out. Yee. Fits. It's your boy Fitz. We'll be back next time. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys so much for listening to the Crew Cast episode number 25. Make sure if you haven't already, you can check all the links down below. You can like me on Facebook, at Drew Talks. Follow me on Twitter, at Drew Talks. Follow me on Instagram, at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell icon to get notified every single time we drop a new video. New and better content is coming your way very, very soon. Stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy the content, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Scrap!